And so now we're going to show you the very beginning Time of the game. Time to choose your first car. Any of these will be competitive. So we start you off with a selection of seven cars from around the world. Not quite uh, the allure of the R8, but they're still fantastic, fun little zippy cars. So everything around here. Did that first race with the R8 determine anything like sort of like settings or uh, we already or? set we already set the casual you preset that prior to going in um, and then it doesn't determine anything it just gives you a feel of how of you know the exhilarating gameplay like a, like a taste of things to come exactly to just that it's thrilling and, and and you know that anyone can get into this that is nothing to be afraid of um, but then now we go into the basically the single player career at any Nearly any point in the game, you can change any of those assist or settings. And I'll show you that before we get into the race. So, I'm just going to choose this Ford Fiesta. Nice choice. When you're ready to get behind the wheel, choose Go Race. In order to begin your career, choose Season Play. So Season Play is what, what I really want to show you guys. It's really the accessibility of kind of this career. Um, but because we have two you know, more hardcore Forza fans, uh, I want to show you first the event list, something you might be more familiar with. Uh, and then we'll go into Season Play. So, as I mentioned before, 90 events in Forza 2, 220 in Forza 3. This is everything. Uh, obviously it unlocks as you level up and you can see you know maybe for the novice gamer it's a lot to choose from uh, real quickly the gray box means that uh, that it's an open race to me but I don't have a car that's eligible green denotes that um, I can drive it right now in this car and if I had more cars in the garage you would see a blue box that tells me uh, I can just I can get in I can drape I can race that race I just need to quickly change my car um, I'm gonna cheat real fast and just open this up So now it's as if I had played hours, weeks, maybe years, right? Now I'm a level 50, 900,000, 500,000 credits. Uh, you can see that I've unlocked, um, these are kind of road and track type races. Uh, these are kind of owner's clubs. We even have point to point, drag racing. It's all there. Now my Ford Fiesta can, can technically is, is eligible for some of these ladder races, but I might get beat, right? Maybe. So. <laughs> So what what is what does a hardcore or what does a racing fan do? I'm gonna go to the upgrade shop, yeah? So in Forza 3, we have 50% more upgrades than in Forza 2. 50% more. Uh, you can imagine the possibilities, the different setups you can do. So that's all fantastic for the hardcore, right? We've got everything and more that they've been asking for. More game, gorgeous graphics more parts, more cars. Um, but what about the approachability for the casual or you know, the casual guy who's playing something else? That's where season play comes into play. In season play, you choose from among several events. These events fill up your calendar as you race through the season. Each event consists of multiple races. If you're not sure which event to choose, review the tips displayed under each event poster. So what you're seeing here in season play mode is basically the game's tailoring a season to you. Um, we're always going to offer three tracks, so you're not inundated. Uh, and what and these tracks are based on two criteria: one are the cars that you own in your garage, and secondly, the tracks that you've raced on. So what that means is your season is tailored on your car passions, the cars that you like to drive, and where you like to drive them. And effectively, everybody's season is just going to be a little bit different, right? Because my car, my garage is going to be different than yours, as yours and yours. So, gives everyone a little bit of taste. We're, we're just giving them more of what they prefer to play. This is your season calendar. Your first race is highlighted. When new events are added, this is where you can find them. Time for the first race of your new season. Choose start race. When you say judges based on tracks you've raced before, is that like only in season play or other parts of the game as well? So what we're referring to are, are what you had seen in the previous screen, those... Yeah, 
it was, it's the three, the three tracks, the three tracks for me to play next. Um, that's based on the cards I own and the tracks that I've played. So it's going to prioritize those, that, those, the things that I, the races that I'm eligible for and that I prefer to play. Um, that's that's what it's reading off of. Does that make sense? Um, I guess I'm just wondering if, like, when you say tracks you've played before, like, does that include like exhibition races, or is it entirely within? I believe it's within, within season play. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's going to prioritize exactly. Um, and what it's doing is basically, you know, it's taking that entire grid and it's just consolidating it into a, in a smooth line so that you just, every time I'm offered something that I like. Okay. It's cool. So again, that's something easy for the, for the not, you know, casual gamer to get into. And there's something else that, that's new for this and that's quick upgrade. So, so while we may want to go upgrade the cars ourselves, there's this opportunity as well. Upgrades affect your car's performance. Press the X button to see the list of parts you will be installed. So what the game is doing right now is it's, recommend, it's recommending the parts and setup to be optimal for this race. Just pushing X, I can look at the parts. If I like them, I can accept it. If I'm not, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to accept it. But in short, you can see what it's doing with the, with the key parts of the car. Weight gets a little heavier, peak power goes up. But overall, it's a win for me because I go from 176 to 199. So, 